Hey, what up guys? Thanks for tuning in into the channel again. So today we are on our way to a dry chef company in Compton. Uh, this time I'm not going to the usual spot in Irvine. It's a little too far. It's about 40 hours, I mean 40 hours, 40 minute drive. And on top of that, I'm on three hours of sleep. I don't want to drive that far. I'm already going that way for work. So I don't want to do double the trip and I'm not trying to drive extra mileage just to go all the way over there. All right, so I dropped it off at this location right here. No sign, no nothing, but I guess if you know the place, you know the place. I found it because of Google. It does have a 4.9 star rating, but it benefits me because it's closer. All right, so I just got off the phone with the dry shaft company and he said that possibly it will be done tomorrow if they could get the parts today. If they can't get the parts today, then most likely Monday or Tuesday, which I really don't mind because I'm still waiting for my registration sticker. So once that comes, then I guess new E85 and then take it to work, do an alignment and get people's reactions. Hey, what up guys? So today is Sunday and we are about to pressure wash the bottom of the truck while we wait for the dry shaft to be done and on top of that i do have new uh wreck and pinion bellows that i'm going to install probably not today i'm gonna wait till my control arms get here i am getting uh 92 to pick up lower control arms they're a little bit more beefier they're plated uh they're stronger than the uh, original 87 So the truck is still on its side so if I look a little awkward it's because of that I have to fix one of my Deutsch connectors on my engine harness that's on the inside uh, it shouldn't be that hard it's just recrimping that's about it so if you're wondering what this is you probably guessed it right from this it's the LED strip so you guys can see underneath or whatever you guys are working on all right so before we begin i want to give a huge shout out to snap mounts they ended up sponsoring today's video and i'm actually using one of their products right now i'm using one of their magnetic phone mounts that's actually mounted to my door right now and uh if it wasn't for them this interior shot wouldn't have been possible and any future videos you guys see of indoor exterior or a follow vehicle it's all thanks to them so thank you snap mounts if you guys want to see more of the products i'll be listing them down below in the description and if you guys want to purchase one you guys can go ahead and do that too because i highly recommend them and you will not be disappointed so let's get on with today's video all right so my water harness uh for my fuse box is actually right behind the, the dash itself and uh i have it mounted with uh zip ties all i gotta do is just cut them off and we should be getting full access to it. Okay, so this is the main power plug basically that goes from the fuse box to the ECU. And this is my issue when I'm driving. Sometimes it turns off and that's because these are not actually crimped right. I had to basically, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna deep pin it and I'm going to recrimp it on. And that should fix my issue. If you're into wiring or want to get into wiring, I highly recommend this starter set from Amazon. It's a depending tool and it gives you a lot of different options for different type of depending connectors. And uh, they come in handy. I've used them at Tesla, I've used them at Toyota, I've used them at Nissan, and I even use them on my own personal 
drift truck. So I highly recommend them. It comes with basically three sets. The newer updated ones, I think they come with four or five different sets. And they actually come with a carrying pouch. I just have mine thrown into my repair kit. So highly recommend them. So I installed my new bellow on and I only had one issue which I ordered uh, power rack and pinion bellows and they ended up shipping me manual which they are a lot smaller. So here's the hole of the new one. Here's the hole of the old one. You can see that this is the right one, this is the wrong one. So what I ended up doing was torching it and I stretched it to fit. Now it's on there. And now, here's the crazy shit. That's the old one, that's the new one. Look how bent that thing is. Trashed. That was when I was stupid slammed. I don't know what day this is, but today I woke up early so I could finish the passenger side, uh, bellow, the new lower control arm. And the drive shaft is in already. Fits perfectly, <laughs> drives perfectly, but I just gotta finish this up and then I'm still waiting on my new ball joints because these are too long. So 87, this final third uh, bolt, it's this length right here is too long. The 92, which that's what these are, the third hole for the ball joint is actually shorter so that's why I gotta change the ball joints. So today is Friday and uh, woke up early again. I installed a new ball joint. I'm about to do the other side. But what I'm really happy about, we're finally legal to be on the road. I got my registration sticker. Now, after I do the ball joints and I do a home alignment, I'm gonna go get some fresh E85 and we're gonna drive this to work. All right, so we got some fresh E85. Now we're gonna prime the fuel system. So for those of you wondering why it's at 12.8, 12.9 or 13, I already check all my wiring, I check the voltage, and from the alternator, I get 14.7, and at the battery, I get 13.9. Um, so, it is charging the battery, it's just, this is reading what the ECU is reading, which is directly to the fuse box. Fuse box is getting 13.9 as well, so there's no system fault here. I don't know why that always reads low, but the charging system is fine. And then for those of you that don't know, also this is my small Easter egg in this truck. Is when you first start it and it's too cold, it just says, uh, bitch, let me warm up. All right, so now it reached idle. Turn my fan on. Just to prevent this from actually overheating. So I could leave it like this and just walk away. Hey, what up guys? So I'm sorry this video is everywhere. Uh, this video is based off of several days throughout two weeks. And uh, today we are actually going to do another thing to the truck since we're still waiting on an intercooler. Shout out to the homie Shane. He ended up teaching me about this nozzle kit. Uh, instead of using it for the window, we will be setting this kit to be ran into the grill itself so it could cool down my AETs by spraying cold water onto my intercooler. Hopefully this setup works with the new intercooler that's coming. My intercooler got lost in the mail, but they ended up finding it, so I should get it within the next couple of days. So for now, let's wire this up, and once the intercooler gets here, we'll set that up too. So if we go to the passenger side of my truck. I have an accessory box that hides basically anything I don't want on my dash itself. So I already have a connector here that has a one open slot that I could still connect to. This is gonna get mounted right here, so it's easy access from the door, fill it up with ice and water. And then the hose is gonna be running through this old uh, bench seat hole, which, I mean, it's the perfect size for the hose and it's gonna run along the chassis and it's gonna hide inside of the fender. So that's a perfect setup. 
First things first, we're gonna use the bracket that it came with and we're gonna use a Sharpie oil-based pen to basically mark where I want it. So I already made the first hole into the cab itself. For those of you that wanna know how I do it, I basically use a drill bit or a step bit and I create the hole for these rib nuts. You use this specialty tool to squeeze this into the metal and now you have threads into whatever material or wall or flat surface you want and you just grab a bolt and it goes right in i do use a uh, flathead allen uh, bolt which is m6 by one and these are great for low profile usage so right now i ended up slightly tightening just the the allen bolt that i put in here and uh i'm putting the bottle on it just so i can see where the straight position is and once i find it i'm going to carefully remove this and i'm gonna mark it drill it and then enter a rib nut and repeat the process until i have the two bolts where i want them so after all this wiring i finally got it hooked up it's mounted and my switch is back here it's pretty loud and i think it has enough force but i think we should be solid so before I take this off, I'm looking to see where to mount them. And I'm noticing that each tab is roughly near the middle. And it's more than enough to identify where I got to mount the nozzles. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And I'm going to glue the nozzles inside. So right now what I'm doing is basically using Gorilla Glue or Super Glue to glue the nozzles onto the grill. And I'm doing it in, in the middle because there's a canal you could say in the middle that doesn't interfere with any so this is going to be a temporary setup only because i ran out of materials and i couldn't make it look better but there is the hose right there and it splits up and i am going to order more hoses and better nozzles but again temporary setup and this is also temporary grill because it's in bad condition and i'm going to replace it I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. And it's working. So the nozzles work a little bit better than I guessed. Well, not the nozzles, but the reservoir itself the pump it's really really strong so i would say give or take half a lap i'll get out of the reservoir i might have to go with a bigger reservoir just so i could do a full lap but it is working it, they're really strong but again i think i need a bigger reservoir and if i do it's going to be mounted inside the bed So you guys saw that it works so we are actually going to try tomorrow when I go to work and uh, hopefully it improves the IATs if it doesn't oh well but we are getting a new intercooler most likely tomorrow so I guess this is where we're going to leave and cut off the video so thank you guys for reaching this far into the video and I hope to see you guys next time later.